for your support on caucus night. The final countdown to the Iowa caucuses is on, ahead of Monday night's electoral event, which kicks off the state-by-state -state race to pick presidential nominees. The Democratic candidates were making their closing pitches around Iowa on Sunday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Public opinion polls in Iowa show a close race among the top of the 11 contenders vying to challenge President Donald Trump in November. We are the campaign of excitement and of energy. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders and former Vice President Joe Biden are nearly neck and neck for first place. Money in Washington. With Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren and former South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg not far behind. A confident Sanders riding high in the polls in Iowa drew some of the largest crowds over the weekend at rallies in Cedar Rapids, which were informally dubbed Burnchella after the Coachella Music Festival with Vampire Weekend playing the 78-year-old onto the stage. Folk singer Bonnie Vare also came to perform in support of Sanders, and filmmaker Michael Moore served as a warm-up act at his Saturday night rally. With Bernie Sanders! Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg is skipping Iowa as part of his unorthodox bid for the White House. It's great to be here in Los Angeles. But he shelled out for a multi-million dollar campaign ad to run during the Super Bowl. Trump's campaign also purchased an ad for the big game. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Some of the Democratic candidates on Sunday said they would join Iowans at Super Bowl watch parties. You're not going to see one of my ads in the Super Bowl tonight. You know, I wish. But at least the senators might not be able to stick around for the final score. I can't stay and do selfies. As all three are due back in Washington Monday morning for the closing arguments in Trump's Senate impeachment trial. The Senate will convene as a court of impeachment.